Morning guys. Well, finally, this hood that's been in half pattern in pieces sitting around here for almost a year is finally getting to go. And I'm glad I didn't put it together because I'm cutting it down five inches. You know, originally it was going to be 10 foot, but now that some walls are up and things are squared away, the hood was always bigger than he really needed. But, uh, this is stage one. They're kind of ready for it. So I'm going to cut it down 115 inches and put it all together. Go from there and go hang it. All right, guys, we're back at the hood. So these are the, these are the two pieces that have been sitting around the shop forever. And these are all in the flat. So I cut the hood down, trim these down in the shear. And what this is, you got a, the back of the hood, the front of the hood. This panel right here determines the width. So I want this hood to be 48 inches wide. So thus this piece. There's a one inch 90 broke here and that gets welded 100%. The exterior of a, a type one range hood has to be 100% welded on its exterior. These pieces, don't have to be. So this is the, when this hood is up the other way around, this holds the top of the filters. And then there's a piece I put in that goes in here. And this is the upper end of the filter rack. And once I uh, build the sides and weld them all together and put three lights in it and a couple small pieces, it becomes, it becomes a type one range hood. So over here, This is the side, um, and because it's going, I put the pretty side of the stainless to the inside because uh, this goes in between two walls that never get seen. So this is a, a hem edge uh, to keep it stiff and so you don't cut yourself on it. And because we don't have a power brake press, here's the other one, and this will just show you what it takes with an apron brake, you know, or a hand brake to. Um, to hem that edge over my hand. If you had a power brake press, uh, not nearly as big a deal. But we broke that uh, one inch, that one inch all the way over 180 degrees. So just put it in here like so. And you gotta use the levers on it manually to uh, crush it. all it takes to put that image on it um, which will go to the outside back catch when we get this welded up all right guys hood is getting close to being done I got a Plazart. This is the top of the light, the, the uh, vapor proof light that goes on the inside. And this is the, the top of it. And it's got some screws that go in there. I just got a Plazark out these holes, put four hat hangers on it and uh, finish up the inside of the hood and uh, polish it out a little bit. It'll go to the job site and be swinging in the air Saturday. final steps is uh, locating this piece in here and this just gets tacked in and there's a uh, drill uh, drainage holes in this tray of course this is the filter and then I got uh, holes in here so I can tack it to the hood this does not have to be hundred percent because it's inside uh, the hood and then of course your 20 by 20 filter just comes in and out like so. 
then we push the sides in and tack the filter rack in, uh, install the lights, put four hat hangers on it, and it's done.